Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today's delicious and refreshing dessert is perfect for spring and summer. I'll be making my citrus vanilla tart. I'm gonna start things off with a homemade butter pastry crust. Going to fill that with a vanilla custard and then top that off with grapefruit, blood orange, and orange gems. Finish that with a glaze. This show-stopping tart just looks amazing and it tastes absolutely delicious. You guys are going to love the combination of the citrus with the sweet vanilla custard and then that buttery pastry dough perfection. I'm going to start things off with my pastry dough first. Now I've placed three quarters cup of butter into the freezer for about 30 minutes. You want to cube it into nice little cubes and make sure that butter is really cold when you're adding it to the dough. Into my food processor I'm going to add in two cups of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of white granulated sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt. Give that a pulse to combine all the ingredients together. And next I'm going to add in my butter. Just drop those cubes right in. And pulse the butter and the flour together until the mixture resembles fine crumbs. And then slowly pour in six tablespoons of cold heavy cream. I've lined my workspace with a little bit of plastic wrap and I'm going to drop my pastry dough right into the center and I love using a food processor because it comes together in just a matter of minutes. And then wrap it up. And that's it for my tart shell dough. I'm just going to place this into the refrigerator, allow it to chill for about an hour, and meanwhile, I'm going to prepare my vanilla custard and slice up my citrus. For my vanilla custard, I'm going to drop in two egg yolks into a mixing bowl. Add half a cup of white granulated sugar. And then in my small ramekin here, I've mixed together two tablespoons of cornstarch with two tablespoons of water, and I'm gonna pour that in as well. And then whisk this all together. Into a separate saucepan, I'm going to pour in one and a half cups of whole milk and add one tablespoon of flour. Give that a quick whisk and then cook the milk until it's steaming hot but not boiling. And then I'm going to temper my hot milk into the egg yolk and sugar mixture. And you wanna add the milk slowly, just add a little bit at a time. And then whisk it really well after each addition. And then pour the custard mixture back into the saucepan. And then cook this custard over medium heat, stirring constantly for about five minutes until it thickens and it takes on a pudding-like consistency. And once your custard is ready, you wanna remove it from heat and then add in half a cup of unsalted butter and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then whisk this until that butter is completely melted. And then transfer your custard into a clean mixing bowl, wrap it up with some plastic wrap, and make sure that the plastic wrap touches the surface of the custard so that no film forms on the top, and then set it into the refrigerator and let it cool completely. My pastry dough has finished chilling in the refrigerator. I just lightly floured my work surface and my rolling pin, and I'm just going to roll the dough out into a large circle. I'm using an 11 inch tart tin today. Uh, you can use a smaller one if you'd like, a nine or 10 inch will also work. Now the dough is gonna be a little firm from setting in the refrigerator, but just work with it to get it to the right size. And then press the dough gently into the bottom of the pan, around the edges especially. So you get a nice and firm crust. And grab a fork and pierce the bottom of the dough all over. And I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and the tart shell will bake for about 23 to 25 minutes until it's golden brown and has those nice and golden edges. Then go ahead and take it out and let it cool at room temperature. And now it's time to prep our citrus for the topping. And so for each citrus fruit, I'm going to start with my grapefruit. You wanna cut off the ends first, turn it on its side, and I'm using a sharp serrated knife, cut away the rind. And then cut out the citrus centers, just like that. I just love the color of these. These are so pretty.
I've softened eight ounces of cream cheese and before I add that to my custard, I'm gonna mix it for a few minutes with my mixer to make sure it's smooth and lump free. And then add the cream cheese to the cooled custard and give this a mix with the hand mixer again until it's light and fluffy. And now it's time to bring this all together. So I let my tart crust cool completely. I'm just going to slide it out onto a cake stand. Transfer our delicious custard filling into the center. Grab a flat spatula and then gently nudge that filling to the edges. And then add on the fruit. I'm going to start with my grapefruit on the outside. And now let's cut into this gorgeous tart and see what it looks like. Time to enjoy it. And I'd uh, recommend using a sharp serrated knife to cut the tart. Look at that. Gorgeous. And that's it for my citrus vanilla tart. For the full recipe, head down into my video description box. And once you have the tart assembled, I do recommend placing it into the refrigerator. Just let it hang out there for a couple hours, allow that custard to set up with the uh, citrus fruit on top. Time to dig in and enjoy this. Gonna grab a little bit of everything. Mmm. This is so incredibly delicious. You guys are in for a real treat with this tart. It's just the definition of refreshing and delicious. I love that buttery, flaky crust combined with that sweet, smooth vanilla custard. Top that off with a tart citrus fruit and it's just simply amazing. This is perfect for spring and summertime. If you're looking for a dessert that's on the lighter side, give this citrus tart a try. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe and I'll see you next time.